These mini LED traffic light modules look really cool, plus they're super cheap too. Here's how to get them working with the ESP32 microcontroller. So the traffic light has four pins, three for the LEDs labelled R, Y and G plus one ground. To connect them to the ESP32 you'll need four female to female jumper cables. GND or ground goes to the ground on the ESP32. The LEDs can be connected to pretty much any of the remaining pins on the ESP32. However, there are a few pins that should be avoided. I've linked to this diagram on the Random Nerd Tutorials website that would help with that. I've connected my traffic light to pins 21, 22 and 23 on the ESP32. These pins are close to each other and using them leaves plenty of room for other modules to be connected. Now I'll show you the code we need to get it running through the Arduino IDE. I've linked to my sketch code in the description below. So the code needed to get the traffic lights working is really straightforward. We just define three pins at the top here and we put the GPIO numbers in here. So if you want to change the pins the traffic lights use then it's really easy, you just need to change the numbers here. In the setup routine we just call the pin mode function three times, one for each LED. So the first argument is the pin and the second we set as output. So I've just set the traffic lights to cycle between green, yellow and red and back again. So we just call the digital write method with the pin and set it to high to turn the LED on and then we set it to low to turn it off again. So this one will light the green LED and turn the yellow one off from the previous loop and so on. The delay method is really useful for the traffic lights. You just feed in the number of milliseconds you want to delay before it calls the next procedure in the code. So 5000 milliseconds is 5 seconds. So that's pretty much all we need to do to get the traffic light working with the ESP32. Before you upload the sketch then go to tools and then board and check that you've got the right board selected. Mine is the ESP32 dev module here. This seems to work for most ESP32s if you buy them on Amazon or eBay or somewhere else. Remember also to select the right COM port. My ESP32 is on COM5. Another useful thing is to check this. If you click on get board info, it should come up with something. Sometimes it will recognize the board, but usually it's a good sign if it says anything here at all. It knows it has recognized the board. If you want to buy these mini traffic lights, then they're for sale on AliExpress and elsewhere. I bought a five pack of them for just £1.02 on AliExpress. Incidentally, you'll also find these for sale on Amazon, eBay and dedicated online electronics component vendors. So what are the downsides to these traffic light modules? In my particular ones, the red LED is significantly brighter than the yellow and green LEDs. I also think the yellow LED is quite feeble and it does kind of look orangey too. The green LED looks kind of yellow. Still, for the price I can't really complain. I've also been unable to find a 3D printed case for them, so they might not be that suitable if you want them for a mini city or diorama. If you do find a case that fits them, then drop a comment below. I hope you found this tutorial useful, thanks for watching!